be for me. Thank you. Wahey! <laughs> Happy birthday, Bizu. Is that a birthday present for me? Wow! A drum! <laughs> but keep the noise down a bit. Just until everyone else has had a chance to wake up for your birthday breakfast. <laughs> Hello. Hello, everybody. Hello. Hello, Zinnia. Happy birthday, Zoo. Wow, thanks. It's beautiful. A doll. Uh -oh. oh, well, if you don't want it, Zoo. Hey, Zinnia, wait until you see what I got this morning. Ziggy lives in Africa. He's in charge of a safari park. Well, time we were off. Yes, we'll be late for Zinnia's belly lesson, won't we, darling? Point and deck, sand point and close. Come along now. Very, uh, very loud. Yup! Can you hear that, dear? <laughs> A bit hard to miss, really. What do you think it is? Uh, maybe we've been invaded by giant woodpeckers. <laughs> Silly. <laughs> well, let's just hope they've gone by the time we go down for Zoo's birthday. We had some birthday cake. Why don't you go and ask Elsie to come round? All right. And Zoo, leave the drum behind, eh? We wouldn't want it to get lost on the way. Hmm. All right. We could hide it. Hmm. Perhaps not. Oh, hello there, Elsie. I brought her around to show her my drum. Oh. Hmm? Oh, good. Where's it gone? Mm. <laughs> hmm. Aha! Found it! Wow! Oh! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> it's sorry, Dad. Me. Hey, Mum! Brilliant cake! Roll up, roll up! For Zoo's birthday cake extravaganza! Oh, <coughs> oh Zoo! <laughs> Sorry, Mum. But we're, we're going to sing happy birthday. I know, and I want to join in. A one, a two, a one, two, three. Happy birthday, Zoo. Happy birthday, Zoo. A very, very happy birthday, Zoo. Happy birthday, Zoo. Happy birthday, Zoo. Happy birthday, Zoo. Come on, Zoo. The candles. Here we go. Hooray! Happy birthday, Zoo! Now let's sing again! Uh, maybe our 
after we've had some cake, Bizu. That drum of yours is quite loud. Isn't it great, though? I was a bit, yes. Well, as you're awake... I'd quite like to have a bit more of a snooze, Sue. Perhaps you could go and play your drum somewhere else. Oh, all right. Hey, Grandma! Hmm? How would you like to hear some expert drumming? Uh, not just now, Sue. Oh, but perhaps you'd like to do some baking. We could make some chocolate chip cookies. No, thanks, Grandma. I need to practice my drumming. Yes, well, could you practice somewhere else, please, Zoo? All right. <gasps> I'll go and find Grandpa. <laughs> hey, Grandpa. Would you like to hear some really good drumming? Oh, yes, I would. Pretty good drumming, Zoo. Perhaps I ought to join you. Have you got a drum too? Nope. I've got something better than that. Come along. Now, I know it's around here somewhere. Ooh. Aha! My old bugle. Right. Let's make some music. for music, do they? Hello, Zoo, dear. Was that you making all that noise earlier on? Yes. Uncle Ziggy sent me a drum all the way from Africa. But no one seems to like me playing it. Ah. Uh -huh. I see. Well, let's see what we can do about that, eh? <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's gone very quiet all of a sudden. Well, we did ask Sue to keep it down a bit. I wonder where he's got to. Maybe he's upstairs with Nana. Oh! I'll get it, Nana. Zoo? We thought it had gone a bit quiet. You've stopped playing your drum, Zoo. No, I haven't. Huh? Nana told me that you don't need to make lots of noise when you're playing the drums. Sometimes it sounds lovely, just like this. Come over here, Zoo, dear. Sunflower. The teacher showed me to look after her this weekend. 
Isn't she pretty? Well, hello, Goldie. Congratulations, Zoo. She's lovely. I've got to tell everybody. Mum, Grandma, Nana. <laughs> Grandpa! Here you are. Goldie's staying with us for the whole weekend. Oh, it's a pleasure to make your acquaintance, Goldie. How are you? Look, I've almost finished making this stool. Uh, do you think Goldie would like it? Hmm. I, I could paint it green and yellow for her. It's just her size. You'll be nice and comfy, Goldie. Thank you, Grandpa. Me to make sure that Goldie is in the sun, but out of the wind. Mm -hmm. Here, too shady. Here, too windy. The view isn't very nice. Well, what about over here? It's sunny and sheltered, and there's a lovely view of the whole garden. Grandpa, she likes it here. Her face is turned to the sun. That means she's happy. Oh, but look at her pot. I see. It's worn and chipped in places. Well, it's okay. The pot's not broken, Zoo. Zoo! Let's play! Why don't you go and play with Elsie? I'm sure Goldie will be fine. I'm off to play with Elsie now, but don't worry. We'll be right here where you can see us. <laughs> Come on, Elsie. See if you can catch this one. <gasps> oh, no. Are you okay? Whoops. Oh, Elsie didn't mean to scare you. It was an accident. Is she hurt? Just a little shaken. Cloud. The sun will be out again soon. Zoo, you're meant to be hiding. Now it's your turn to count. I'm going to hide. <laughs> How can we play if you have to be with Goldie all the time? This is her first time out of the classroom. Everything is new and strange for her. She needs lots of care and cuddles. Oh, I hadn't thought of that. Zuzu! Lunch! It's time for me to go too. Bye, Zoo. Bye, Goldie. Bye, Elsie. after her morning in the sun. <laughs> she may be slightly taller. You can check with Grandpa after lunch. You're taking such good care of her. Hmm. Grandpa, this afternoon, can you please take me to Mr Zoe's shop? Oh. I want to buy a new pot for Goldie. Surprise! Oh, that's a great idea!
Congratulations, Goldie. You're a big girl now, big enough to stay on your own. Will I go shopping with Grandpa? It won't take long. Bye, Goldie. I'll be back soon. Hello, Mr Zoe. Do you have any flower pots? Very pretty ones. Aha! I can see you're looking for something special. It's for Goldie. She's my sunflower. What about this one? Hmm, I don't know. Do you have any other ones? Let me see. Uh, isn't there one you think Goldie would like? Hmm. Come on, Zoo. Mr Zoe's waiting. What do you think, Puck? Oh, I know what Goldie would like. A flower pot with little sunflowers on it. I'm sorry, Zoo, but these are all the pots I have. Hold your stripes. Look, you can make your own. Stickers! Perfect! <laughs> Goldie will love it. Could you please wrap it in pretty paper? Just in time to help me in the kitchen. But, Mum, can't I give Goldie her present first? Please? I'm sure Goldie won't mind waiting. Goldie. Oh, I know. Hold on. going to be my friend again. Cheer up, Zoo. Goldie's fine. She's only sleeping. All sunflowers bow their heads at night. Are you sure? Tomorrow morning, as soon as the sun shines again, she will lift her head and she'll be very happy to see your surprise present. Good night, Goldie. Sleep tight. Don't let the green fly bite. Come along now. Bedtime for you, too. Dad! Huh? Dad! Mrs. Zebariah gave me a gold star for taking such good care of Goldie. And she promised me I could look after her again soon.
Bizu? Hi, Mom. I hope you can tidy up in here before your aunt and cousin arrive. I will. I'm just being a train driver. Choo choo. Choo choo. So many things and so little space to put them. Choo choo. Bizu, perhaps you should look through all of your toys and clear out the ones you're too old for. Clear out? But they are my things. We all grow up and grow out of things, Zoo. Maybe you can find something to pass on to someone younger. Okay? Okay. Put the toys you want to keep on one side and put the ones to give away in that box. I can put in the box. Mm. <gasps> it's not real, Pock. It looks like a baby toy. Oh, that's so embarrassing. That can go. Mum will be pleased I've got something to give away. everything out, I found this. Oh, Bizu, this is your teething ring from when you were a baby. It was mine? Really? <laughs> yes. You used to call it Peng Peng because you couldn't say penguin. <laughs> you were so cute. Mom. <clears throat> oh, we can't get rid of this. We can't? I'd like to keep it. Hmm. When are Aunt Zelda and Zinnia coming? Oh, they'll be here soon. I must get things ready. Mm, I can't let Zinnia see a baby's thing like that, Pock. She'll tease me. We'll have to hide it. Like pirates bearing treasure pock. No one will look for it out here. Ah, Zoo! Oh. <laughs> look what I found at the garden center. It had looked lovely in between. Oh! That's where I was going to plant it. Thank you. How did you know? <laughs> it looked like a good place to plant something. <laughs> Opening this cupboard, it'll be too easy to find it in here. Where else? <laughs> oh, thank you, Zoo. Hmm? Maybe somewhere higher up. <laughs> Sue? Dad! Is that a baby toy in your hand? No. Zinnia! Uh oh, hello, Zinnia. Point and flex and point and flex. <laughs> <laughs> <Huh>? <laughs> hello, Zoo. Hello, Zinnia. What are you doing? I've got the starring role in my school ballet, so I'm practicing as much as I can. We're so proud. It's such a grown-up responsibility for her. It's very grown-up. Hmm? Hmm. Hmm. Oh! <laughs> Come through, Zelda. Zoo, will you look after Zinnia for me? Yes, Mum. I don't really need looking after. Now that I'm very grown-up. What are you hiding behind your back, Zoo? Uh, nothing. Is it a guessing game? No, it's not a game. I know. Let's play hide and seek. You can count. Oh, yes! My favourite! One. There must be somewhere I can hide this healing room before Zinnia finds us. 
Sorry, Grandma. Hand and seek. If Zinnia asks, you haven't seen me. Oh, all right, Zoo. If she asks, I haven't seen you. Thanks, Grandma. This is the perfect place to hide it. Huh? to hide this somewhere else. Hmm? Didn't you find somewhere to hide, Sue? No, it's okay. I'll find somewhere different. <laughs> 99, 100. Coming, ready or not. <laughs> No wonder Grandpa wanted to hide this. It's really babyish and embarrassing. I can't hide my teething ring in here. <laughs> Zoo! I know where you're hiding, Zoo! find a place where no one else will look. I know. If Grandpa hid his bonnet in Nana's room and Dad hid his teddy bear in Grandma's room, the best place for me to hide this is in here, Mum and Dad's bedroom. Oh, but where? Hmm. Perfect, Pop. <laughs> Found you at last. Huh? Oh! <laughs> Zoo, why are you carrying around a baby toy? Mm. You're not a baby anymore, are you? Of course not! <laughs> Just wait till I show everyone. No, Zinnia, wait! Oh, there it is. I wondered where that had gone. Come on, you two. We're all in the living room. <laughs> oh, it's been many, many years since I could fit into this. <laughs> I loved this teddy bear. I remember I used to take it with me everywhere. Oh, I haven't looked at these for ages. I'd almost forgotten where I'd put them. You put them there? I thought Dad and Grandpa had hid them. Why would we do that, Sue? Because they are baby things, and you are grown up. So? Don't you think it's embarrassing? They're not embarrassing, Zoo. Nana and I keep these things because they remind us of how much our boys have grown up. And of how proud we are of them. Yuck! We all do it. See how little Zinnia was such a sweet baby. She hasn't changed one little bit. Oh, <laughs> Mummy! <laughs> <laughs> Mum, if you want to keep this here, then that's all right. Oh, I wasn't going to leave it on display, Zoo. I keep all my little zoo memories in here. Pictures, old toys, everything that reminds me of you. This is a very cute photograph. And do you know what, Bizu? What? It proves just how grown up you've become. Hmm. <laughs> What are you doing? I'm practicing. Uh, practicing uh, what? Mountaineering. I've decided I'm going to be a mountaineer when I grow up. I thought you were going to be an astronaut. That was yesterday. And the day before that, you wanted to be a truck driver. 
Not anymore. We mountaineers have to fight our way up mountains against the cold and blizzardy wind. Uh, it's not huh? cold. It's a lovely day. Yeah, but... And anyway, there aren't any mountains around here. Might be one day. Bye, Zoo. Uh, um... Bye, Eldy. See you tomorrow. <laughs> Hello, Zoo. Good day at school? Suppose so. Is something the matter? How can I be a mountaineer when I grow up, if there aren't any mountains around here to climb? I thought you wanted to be an astronaut. Not anymore. I want to be a mountaineer now. You know, when I was a bit younger, I used to do a bit of climbing. A I... hill or two, and not very big ones. And a mountain. <laughs> you did? Where? Oh, um, here and there. <laughs> I reached the top of quite a few mountains. And once I spotted an abominable snowman. Wow! What's an abominable snowman, Grandpa? Well, they're very rare. They live in the Himalayan mountains. Where Mount Everest is. That's right. And they're big with white hair all over. And they look a bit like a very tall human being. Wow! But I don't suppose I'll ever get to see one. Oh, I don't know. We'll have to keep sharp eyes out, though. What? Are we going mountaineering? Yep. To the very top of the house. Let's gear up. Uh, now, we're going to need some serious climbing equipment. Now, where did I put the... Oh! Oh, oh, whoops. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Aha! A flag. We'll plant this at the top of the mountain. Then everyone will know we were the first to get there. Wow! We'll need that. And some rope. Mountaineers have to rope themselves together in case one of them falls. Oh, it's a dangerous business, mountaineering. I know! We might meet an abominable snowman. <laughs> Sorry, Pop. <laughs> right, have we got everything? Um, ropes? Huh? Check. Tent and sleeping bags? Check and check again. Our ice axes? Check. Ha-ha! <sighs> we mustn't forget our... <laughs> <laughs> Steady, Grandpa. Helmets. We'll need these to protect us from falling rocks and stuff. Pop will need a helmet too. <laughs> Perfect. I think we're all set. Onwards and upwards! Onwards and upwards! to first base. So, is it time to set up camp? Mm -hmm. Oh, a bit early for that. We need to get a little higher first. Yes, we might meet an abominable snowman just around the corner. <laughs> it's all right, Puck. There's nothing to be afraid of. This next bit looks tricky. Yeah, unless... Uh, uh, we could get a good grip there. And we need to plant that flag. 
onwards and upwards. <laughs> Hear that? It could be an abominable snowman. <laughs> I don't think abominable snowmen know how to whistle. That's a relief. Just me and Zoo. Oh, what are you two up to? We're mountaineering, Grandma, all the way to the top of the house. <laughs> Only we're having a rest at the moment. Hmm. Setting up camp, I mean. Mountaineering, eh? Well, that sounds like hungry work. How about some cake to keep you going? Mm. Brilliant, Grandma. <laughs> Thanks for the cake, Abominable Snow Gran. We've got to be getting on. We've got to plant our flag at the mountain top. Ready? Oh no! Our camp! We can't go on without it! Mm -hmm. We have to, Grandpa. We've got a mountain to climb. You're right. Onwards, Onwards and, and upwards! upwards. <laughs> What's happened here? It looks like... like burglars. I'll phone the police. Uh, no need for that. I think this is more like a zoo sort of thing. Uh -huh. Mountaineers, eh? Well, well. Yes, Nana. And we got all the way to the top, even though we met in the Bonneville <laughs> Snow Grand. Well, I think you two brave boys deserve a great big kiss. Bizu? What have you been up to? Well, you know how I was going to be an astronaut? I've changed my mind. I've decided to be a mountaineer. So Grandpa was... Grandpa? Hmm? <laughs> Grandpa, are you all right? A uh, spot of mountaineering. <laughs> oh, Dad. <sighs> so, you're going to be a mountaineer when you grow up, eh, Zoo? Well, I'm not sure now, because you have to do a lot of tidying up when you come back down the mountain. Yeah, I've changed my mind. I'm going to be a deep-sea diver instead. Zoot, no! <laughs> Only joking! <laughs> <laughs> oh, Zoo. You two look excited. Is that because it's Saturday tomorrow? Yes, Grandpa. 
But we also have a project to do. A project? Yeah. A day in my life diary. We write down everything we do on one day. The teacher says we should make it as special as possible. I'm going to fill mine with colourful drawings. I'll go and sharpen my pencils. See you later, Zoo. Bye-bye, Elsie. Oh, I was going to draw pictures too, but I don't want to copy Elsie. Maybe you can think of another way. Don't worry, I'm mm. sure you'll find something. I'll just set the timer. Three, two, one. Cheese! Who is that lovely lady standing next to that handsome fella? Mm? What's that? It's our new camera, Zoo. Now we can take photographs whenever we like. Photos! I could use it to take pictures for my diary. Do you need photos for that? No, but Elsie is making hers look special by drawing pictures. And I want mine to look special too. Well... Please? <laughs> if we let you use the camera, then you have to promise to take great care of it. It's brand new. I promise. All right then. Thank you! with the camera. It's brand new. So, I'll keep it in here when I'm not using it. Okay, Pop. Let's go and take pictures for a day in my life. Would you like to help me bake a cake? Oh, yes, Grandma. Then I can take a picture for my diary. Cheese! Hmm. Oh. Mm. Dad, what are you doing? The car's been making a funny noise. I'm trying to see if there's anything wrong with the engine. Sure. Could you fetch my torch from the toolbox and shine it in here? That would help. Yes, Dad. Hmm? Here you are. Thanks, Sue. Cheese. Hi, Mum. Whose hmm? bike is that? It's a bit dirty. It's mine. I haven't used it in a while. I thought I might sell it. The washing water is very mucky. Oh, I need some more clean water. I'll get it for you. Thank you, Bizu. Good morning, Zoo. How's your diary project going? Brilliant! I've taken lots of photos. Look! Oh! Ho ho ho! <laughs> oh, excellent! That reminds me, I used to be a very keen photographer myself. I took these a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> hmm? That's Mr. Zoe's shop. If I go to the shop, I can take a picture for my diary. Good idea, but ask your mum first. Mum, hmm. can I go to the shop to take a photo of Mr. Zoe? Okay, Bizu. Don't be long. Hi, Elsie. Oh, hi, Zoo. 
I've done 17 drawings already. I'm allowed to use Dad's brand new camera to take pictures for my diary. I'm going to the shop to take one of Mrs. Zoe. These pencils are nearly used up. I'll come with you. Mr. Zoe. Hello, Sue. Hello, Elsie. What can I get for you today? I need some colouring pencils, please, Mr. Zoe. Thank you. And how about you, Zoo? Do you need pencils too? No. I'm taking photos for my school project. Can I take one of you, please, Mr. Zoe? A photo? Of me? Of course. <laughs> how lovely. <laughs> it's gone. What's gone? The camera. I've lost it. Oh, no. I promised to look after it. Now Mum and Dad will never let me borrow anything ever again. Perhaps if you remember where you've been today, we can go back and find it. That's a good idea. Come on. Where could it be? What have I left it somewhere and it's been stolen? It's not here either. Where did you go? Before you went to Mr Zoe's. Nowhere. I was at home. Then the camera must be somewhere at your house. Let's look in all the places you took photos. Aha! Mm. Uh -huh. mm. Have you found something? I've worked out what the problem is with the engine. But I'm not sure how to fix it. Give me the camera, Zoo. You want the camera? If I take a photo of the engine, I can email it to the mechanic. Then he'll be able to tell me what to do. The camera. OK. I'll go and get it. Hello, Zoo. What do you think? Brand new. Hmm. I'm sure somebody would like to buy it. I'll need to take a photo for an advert. Uh. Do you have the camera? Mm. I think it's in the kitchen. <laughs> I'll go and get it. I definitely took a photo in the kitchen. There you are, Sue. I've been looking for you. I'm so happy with how this cake has turned out that I want to enter it into a cake decorating competition. But I need a photograph. Will you take one with the camera? Uh, yes, Grandma. I'll go and get the camera from my room. <laughs> Are you going to take a picture of me for your diary, Zoo? How about an action shot? Later, Nana. This is where I took my first photo. It has to be in here. Not in your room, Zoo. Oh, that means I really have lost the camera. Is there nowhere else you had it? I didn't take photos anywhere else. <gasps> but I was in Grandpa's workshop. <gasps> Zoo, where's the camera? I'm really sorry. I've lost it. Hmm, but how? Well, uh, I was... You didn't lose it, Zoo. You were so eager to get to Mr Zoe's shop to take his picture that you left the camera with me in the workshop. Phew. Phew. I'm sorry for being careless. I promise I'll be extra, extra careful next time. If there is a next time. <laughs> Please? <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps this might help you not to lose it again. <laughs> Thank you, Grandpa. Now, get together for a picture. Say, stripes! Stripes! My diary is finished, and the camera is safe and sound. <laughs> Zoe's really lucky.
lucky to have a dog. And he's just so cuddly. Oh, it's not fair. I'd love one too. I love dogs. If I had one, I'd call him Bon Bon. Hmm, I like that name. If I had one, I'd call him Woof. <laughs> That's a nice name too. <laughs> Bye, Elsie. See you tomorrow, Zoo. Mom, Dad. How was your day? Good, thanks. Can I have a dog? A what? A dog? Why do you want a dog? I'm bored at home. I don't have any friends. Of course you do. You've got Park. But it's not the same. If I had a dog, I could play with him. Hmm. Stop it, Park. Zoe says her dog is really cuddly. But we already give you lots of cuddles. In the evening when you go to bed. In the morning before you go to school. During the day if you're tired. And dogs need a lot of attention during the day. Yes, and they've got to be walked. I know. I'll do it all, I promise. When they get him from school. But that's not enough. It's got to be walked several times a day. And the dog would get bored all alone during the day. But I'll play with him all the time. Pock, stop it. And also, dogs guard their houses. Sue, dogs bark, drop hairs all over the place. And they've got to be taken care of. That's just not fair. Zoe's parents are nice. They got her one. A zoo. It's a no. Hmm. I'm so unlucky. Ooh, I've got an idea. Would you help me look after a dog if I got one? Well, good grief. But a dog is a huge responsibility, Zoo. He's got to be walked and... Yes, Mum and Dad told me already. And if it's your dog, well, you really should be responsible for taking care of him yourself. I know. Why doesn't anyone want me to have a dog? Well, it's not something to take on lightly. A dog is not a toy. And... There is another problem. Huh? What? Grandpa is allergic to dog hair. <laughs> oh, no! Poor Grandpa. Hmm. Mm. Doesn't matter. I've got another idea. Bye! <laughs> oh! Him. Well, I'm at school. Well, I can't, darling. I'm far too old to take care of a dog. Anyway, with my cane, I can't go very fast. Oh, never mind. No luck? No. Hmm. Well, how about coming with me into the garden? I've got to do some digging. And while I do that, you can explore the garden for wild animals. <laughs> I hear there are loads hiding out there. Really? Really. Well, all right. <sighs> There's nothing in this garden. Ooh. Grandpa, come and see. Hmm? I found a slug. Hmm? Oh, yes. Slugs are sluggish and far too slow. They are a bit, aren't they? Let's look for another animal. Well, I'm going to get back to my gardening and you carry on exploring, all right? Okay. Wow, a lizard. Oh, no. Hmm. Where did you go, lizard? <gasps> An anthill with lots of ants. Grandpa was right. There are loads of animals around here. <laughs> they're tiny, they don't need to be walked, and they're not hairy. Ants will meet brilliant pets. You all right, Zoo? <laughs> Having fun? 
Yes, Grandpa. <gasps> Perfect. Welcome to your new home. Sozu, what have you found? Stop. <gasps> it's a surprise. I've not yet finished the house for my aunt. Whoops. <laughs> Ants. Wait. You can look now, Grandpa. Oh, you've made a terrarium. Well done. A what? A terrarium. Hello, Grandpa. I've baked some of your favourite cookies. Oh, cookies. <laughs> Last one there loses a stripe. Come on, Ants. <laughs> got in that box? It looks as if it's moving. I've made a terra... a terra... A terrarium. It's an anthill in a box. And I put some ants in it. Look! <sighs> Your mum and dad are in for a surprise when they get back. They'll be glad it's not a dog. These are insects. Could you please put the lid back on? I am not fond of ants. But they're really nice. Uh, uh, Sue, would you come and help me finish off my planting? All right, Grandpa. See you later. <laughs> oh! Oh, get away! Oh, Sue, Grandma! Sue. Get off! No, oh, Sue! Grandma? Don't panic. We'll get them all. Sue, let's get these beasties out of the house as soon as possible. Otherwise, we'll be in for more. Woohoo! <laughs> yes, uh, um, quite. <clears throat> uh, Sue, grab whatever you can to make a fence. All they've got to do is make their way out. Grandpa, it's not working. Oh, uh... <laughs> Now, my father told me that ants will follow a queen. If we can find the queen and take her outside, the other ants will follow her. How do we know which one is the queen? Does she wear a crown? Uh, no, Zoo. She's usually a lot bigger than the others. Grandpa, I found her. Uh, but try not to hurt her. Hello, Queen Ant. Look, Grandpa. All the other ants are the same size. Oh, so they are. I think I may have got it wrong. What are we going to do? Hmm. I know. Our teacher read us a story all about the Pied Piper. He made the rats follow him by playing his flute. Do you think it will work on ants? A great idea, Zoo. Let's give it a go. <laughs> <laughs> what is going on in here? Oh! Good grief! What is all that mess? Um. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. <gasps> the ants! They're still here! Hawk, you've given me an idea. I know what to do. Grandma, you'll see. Here, ants, lovely cookies for you. Well done, my little zebra. You're so clever. Oh, thank you, Zoo. It was Pock's idea. Pock, I'm sorry. I don't want a dog anymore. I've already got a best friend. You. <laughs> <laughs>